Hello again, everybody. Monday, March 11 here in Dingaland. And we have another uh, kind of overcast day. But it's not really, really hot, so that makes it nice. Well, let's take a look. Just a slight breeze. Very quiet. Except for somebody hammering next door here. There's a few people out and about. Even though it's a Monday. People over here. Getting to be low tide. Tide's going out. All in all, pretty quiet day. Uh, but I did find some information out. Uh, Grace, mommy. Uh, she finally, she found out the hours of the road closures and stuff. So the way it's going to work is uh, Monday through Saturday. If you, if you want to go anywhere, you have to get out of here before 9 a.m. And then at 9 a.m., the road's closed till uh, 12 a.m., 12 noon, 12 noon. Uh, then from 12 noon till 2 p.m., they open it up again. They open it up. Let people in and out. Then at 2 p.m. Closed again. Till 5 p.m. Then after 5 p.m. Anybody can come and go. Open back up. Then on Sunday. They're going to do a half a day. So only that morning, uh, only that morning closure is going to happen from 9 to 12 for that three hour period. And then the rest of the day it's open and the workers take off the rest of the day, which is good. I'm surprised they haven't do anything a little bit on Sunday, but I guess, you know, they want to do as much as they can. Maybe Easter Sunday, maybe they won't work at all, who knows. But that's the schedule we heard. That's supposedly what's gonna what it's gonna be like for I don't know, my guess. My guess is pretty pretty much a year. I would say by next year, maybe next January maybe it'll be done. <laughs> that's just my guess. You never know, it might surprise me, they might do it faster. I don't know what kind of crew they got, how many people they got working on it. Uh, but I'll try to, uh, from time to time, try to get you guys some video of it. Maybe if I uh, take my scooter in town when the road is open. Uh, I can probably do a video. I could probably show you a little bit, but I'm not going to do it yet because they just started. So there's probably nothing to show you. But maybe when they start really digging into the mountain, they're going to really have to dig into it to make it wide enough in that last section. That's why they saved that last section. I've showed you it before where it's just dirt and rocks. That's probably why they saved it till last. <laughs> is because it's the most work. It's really tight there. And they're, they're going to have to dig a lot of the mountain out to do, to do that. So it's going to take them a while. Who knows. But that's the story. Uh, on that. 
Catherine just came home for lunch and she took took a little bit of a nap. Uh, and James is sleeping now. And now she just headed back to school. So Monday, Monday. At least, uh, I think until the 25th, I believe. Somewhere around there. Uh, until that's Easter break. Then I don't know how long, how many weeks she has off. Probably, probably two weeks. I don't, re I don't really know. Um, I did my laundry today. Got that out of the way. Cause nobody else was doing any, so I take advantage. Cause they're doing laundry two, three days a week. So I have one day to do mine. Uh, had some breaded pork chops I fried up today. From when we went to the market last, we got some fresh pork chops. When they uh, had a pig they killed. So I bought a couple kilos. So I cooked up uh, like six seven eight pork chops they're real tiny though not real big it's not i'm not talking about thick ones these are the little ones and i cut out all the fat i ate like uh four of them and then i saved the rest for the kids if they wanted any uh then mommy and the caretakers they usually cook their own stuff they they usually don't eat my stuff but the kids like my stuff better than their stuff because their stuff has uh, mostly fish and a lot of vegetables. And the kids aren't big on vegetables. Gulai, they call it gulai here. <laughs> they don't like their gulai. We try to get them to eat it. But they're not big on it. And then I fried up some uh, potatoes. Kind of like french fries, but thick cut. And then that's it. Then I just uh, watch a little TV. Just relax. Uh, then Mommy came out and said there was a kitten stuck in the inside of our roof where we have plywood uh, around the sides. I don't know how it got in there. But it was in there trying to get out. So we made the hole how it, it was a little hole it was trying to get out. We made it a little bit bigger. And I said, just leave it alone. It'll it'll come out on its own. If you just stand there and you bang on the plywood, it's not going to come out. So I think it'll come out on its own. Uh, I'll show you real quick since I got nothing else to show you. Over here, the main house. I don't know, there's all kinds of little holes and stuff animals can get in there. Just the other day there was a dead dog and a dead cat behind the house. I kept smelling this terrible, terrible odor. I knew something was dead, I thought it was a rat. I said, tell Jimmy boy to look for some dead animal. So he went behind the house here and he found a dog and a cat. That's what was stinking, man. It was just really rotten, nasty, rank. And, uh... Back here, he buried it. He buried it, and it stopped stinking. Somebody's burning again. So that's good. No more stink. But, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Where this plywood is, some of it's just rottening, rotten, rotten, rotten. And also where this tree is, they can get in and out. But uh, we saw it right here. This is uh, Grace's bedroom window, the kids. That's the hole we kind of made. It had a little hole already. And you could see it sticking its little arm out. I think it got out already. 
I don't hear it or see it. Oh, wait a minute. I hear it. I hear it. Come on out. You hear that? Can you guys hear that? Come on out. Meow. It's up there. You got a big enough hole now, you can come out. Meow. 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 Maybe if we just put a piece of food or something by the hole, it'll come out. Maybe I'll try that. I definitely hear it. I hope you guys could hear that. It's not meowing, it's just... Sounds like it's under stress. Or maybe I'll try putting a little bit of food right by the hole there and it'll come out. But before, when the hole was smaller, you could see it, it was uh, sticking its paw out there. I just don't want it to stay up there and then die. Then it's really gonna stink. We won't be able to get it out. Uh, it's always something around here, let me tell you. But there's plenty of holes in this roof for things to get in and out. It's like not, uh, not really buttoned up. <laughs> That's what happens when you live in a place like this. Oh well, at least I showed you. You guys got to take a look. Hopefully you could hear that sound it was making. So I'm going to go try to, uh, I don't know, maybe get a piece of food or something and get it out of there. Uh, so I'll let you guys know what happens if it comes out. Um, but for now, I guess that's it. Keep watching. You never know what's going to happen next. Like and subscribe, it's free. God bless everyone, Santa Claus, over and out.